Hey, what's up everybody? Lionheart here, and welcome to another tutorial of my in-depth series. This episode will focus on the Hammerhead Shark. We'll start by taking a quick look at some stats and his special ability. I'll then show you the basics of using this shark and the best way to effectively score your diver kills by choosing appropriate evolutions. We'll then discuss what maps are best suited for the Hammerhead. And at the end, I'll include a random match so you can see everything that I covered in action. Let's begin by taking a look at some basic information. For starters, it is a tank class shark with high durability and better than average health pull. Its speed isn't terrible, but with mediocre agility and low thrash damage, the hammerhead isn't able to adhere to the hit and run playstyle that the speed class sharks are able to use. Its special ability is called Relentless Force. The hammerhead regains stamina by impacting any solid object. The stamina received is proportional to the speed and angle of the hit. We'll cover this later in the tutorial, but for now, let's look at some more stats for the Hammerhead and see how it compares to other sharks. The Hammerhead has a large health pool of 330. That's second only to the Great White's pool of 350. The trade-off comes with its very low stamina of just 100. Once depleted, it would take 3 seconds for your stamina to fully regen. Eating a seal will grant you 99 hit points, which is about 33% of your max health. The Hammerhead's maximum base thrash damage is a mere 10 damage, which is tied for the lowest of all sharks with the Thresher, another shark that heavily relies on its special ability to achieve a quick kill. Because it has such low thrash damage, in order to kill a target it would take around 2.5 seconds. With in-game latency and human error, this is probably going to be around 2.8 seconds. The base amount of damage a Hammerhead will deal to Steve is 7 points. It has a cooldown of 1.5 seconds between lunges or darts. A lunge costs 45 points of stamina with a dart costing half that. Because we have exactly 100 points of stamina, we can easily see these percentages as 45 and 22.5 respectively. You would be able to sprint for 5.6 seconds before running out of stamina. And finally, it would take 11 steps to take down a hammerhead at full health. Before we know what evolutions are best suited for the hammerhead, we'll need to see how the shark was designed to kill divers. For that, let's jump right into some testing. Here we have our divers. Let's just go ahead and thrash one. And this is taking about 2.8 seconds. Let's show it again. Yeah, in a room full of divers, I doubt I'll be able to finish this guy. Let me try grabbing one that's up against the wall. All right, here's one. And that was a lot quicker. This is due to the Hammerhead's unique passive, which increases damage dealt to the diver when slammed against an object. Let's test this some more. Here I'm just going to sprint into a wall, and you noticed he lost a lot of health. Finish him off with a little bit of thrashing and we're good to go. This also works against destructible walls, just like that. Now this slam damage is affected by the speed and angle at which you impact the object. Here you'll notice that at an obtuse angle I'm dealing minimal damage, whereas before when I was ramming perpendicular into the wall, I was dealing optimal damage. Here's the perpendicular. Now let's take a look at how speed affects the damage. Without any distance to ramp up my sprint, I'm moving so slowly that I'm not able to do anything other than minimal damage. So combine speed, distance, in the proper angle, you get this. Keep in mind that any solid object counts, including Steve. Now that we've covered the basics, let's look at some evolutions that can help enhance the gameplay. I'm going to divide my recommended evolutions into three tiers. Early game, mid game, and late game. Early game, there are three evolutions. These are generally your highest priority as they will have the greatest effect on your ability to get the kills you need easier, faster, and more successfully. These evolutions are Hangry, Powerful Tail, and Nimble Finned. Hangry will regenerate your stamina rapidly for 8 seconds, enabling you to spam your lunge ability, which allows for a much faster return to Steve's location each time you respawn. If you spawn close enough, this excess stamina regen can be utilized during your attacks if you chose to play very aggressive, which I would recommend early on when playing the Hammerhead. 
Powerful Tail will allow you to use your lunge and dart ability after you have already grabbed a diver. This will let you slam them into a wall without having to sprint towards it. It is faster and works great with both your passive and special abilities. Since the hammerhead is slow, this ability is necessary when attacking in the open water while Steve is moving from safe to safe. This is your most important talent. Nimble Fin makes both of the previously mentioned talents more effective. It will reduce the time between lunges and darts from 1.5 seconds down to a flat 1 second. Essentially, this lowers the time between grabbing a diver and slamming them into a wall. Our mid-game talents are evolving our Relentless Force special ability from level 1 to level 3. This not only increases the duration of the effect, but it adds a health replenishment element so that when the ability is active, you will regain both health and stamina if you slam into a wall. Our in-game talent is Adrenal Glands. Adrenal Glands will regenerate stamina for the Hammerhead immediately after taking any damage. With its high health pull and need for stamina in order to slam their prey consistently, this option outweighs the potential from any other. Any additional talents you pick up after this are situational or luxury depending on your playstyle in the individual game. Now let's head back to our testing and see what we can do while we have these evolutions equipped. Since these divers are out in the open, we'll make good use of Powerful Tail. Notice how quickly you can grab a diver and lunge towards the solid surface. This is Nimble Fin in action. Here's a comparison of how long it would take without either of these evolutions equipped. Let's head inside and see how it works in a smaller area. Just like before, this too will work on destructible surfaces. You'll notice here in the testing that the same rules also apply for the angle requirement we learned about earlier in the tutorial. Watch as I manage to carry this diver without killing them as I hit the ground at full speed but imperfect angles resulting in little damage being done. This is also true for sides of the room and the ceiling as well. However, you will not have to worry about the speed requirement as lunging or darting will result in enough momentum to deal a large amount of damage. Despite the fact that I am close to this wall, the diver is losing health in large chunks. As always, don't forget to hit Steve. Here we see Relentless Force at work. While the ability is active, every time I hit the wall I gain large portions of health and stamina. Here it is again, but you'll notice this time I'm not getting health because I'm not lunging from a great distance, but I will still get the stamina back. Taking everything that we've learned from the tutorial, making sure that we have our proper talents, a hammerhead shark should easily be able to clear a room in a matter of seconds without running out of stamina or health. Let's talk about the maps. Any shark can be used on any map to reach a certain degree of success. However, some maps are slightly more favored for certain sharks due to each map having a unique environment. Because the hammerhead has such an oddly shaped head, as well as a larger body size, there is a possibility you will have trouble getting through some of the smaller entrances to safe rooms when first starting off. You will also want to prefer maps with many flat surfaces within a certain range of your entry point. Some maps also feature more open areas that Steve has to travel through that could keep you from building up enough kills early on to punish the diver's gold income. Honestly, this all comes down to personal preferences and playstyles, but you should be fine on these maps as you begin your journey to mastering the Hammerhead Shark. Antiguo, Breach, Crude, Olmec, and Stash. That's it for the tutorial part of the video. I hope these basic mechanics will allow you to get a good feel for the hammerhead and help get some easier wins for your team. Now keep in mind there is always a lot more to learn and that's all going to come with experience. There's many different playstyles and I'm sure you'll find your own if you give it a shot. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button for more depth tutorials and other gameplay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in game. Alright, game starting. Let's see what we got. No hundreds, no flares, buoys, mines. Doesn't look anything I'm going to be worried about. Got a white tip for a partner, so we should be able to just hit him hard and heavy right at the start. And let's just hope for an easy game here.
Just going through the top here. Uh, it doesn't look like any stragglers. Or like they're paying attention. Easy kills coming up. Right into a wall. Number two. Let's get this guy. Oh, part just got him. I don't think he sees me. <laughs> hey. Don't buy the spear pistols if you can't aim. Alright, just gonna punish Steve here. We gotta die to spend these points anyways. Not gonna grab Powerful Tail just yet because I honestly don't think these guys are gonna put up too much of a challenge. We did get a good spawn, so we're just gonna head back as fast as we can, try and sneak up on him here. Oh yeah, we got this. And then we'll just exit, or I can miss, but I'll get this guy. And I know there's more in here. Yep, one more right there. Come on, come on. Oh, I just needed a little bit more stamina to hit that wall. Gonna save points here, nothing worth buying actually. Yeah, I hit Steve a couple times, so they're only halfway through this first save. They're gonna be gold star pretty good. But I can go back in through the top. Yeah, still not paying attention. I'll take the free kills. One, two right here. Easy, there's gotta be more. Yeah, in the back room. Oh, I'm getting shot up from behind. It's that guy that can't aim. Oh wait, that was a spear pistol. Come on, let me get him, let me get him, let me get him. Oh, close, close. I wish I at least had Steve there. All right, let's go ahead and grab Powerful Tail. I don't think they really stood a chance, but uh, they definitely don't now. Let's go ahead and head back. Uh, lag? Hello? Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. What's this guy doing? Oh, well, let's get him with his own mind. Come on. Boom! What? That didn't... Uh, Alright, let's just try and go dive for him. I don't know how that didn't kill him, or even damage him. He was definitely close enough. Plus, I think I hit Steve and it didn't damage him either. Might have been that lag again. I should have just left the room, but I thought the mine was going to damage him. Just turn around and finish him off. And apparently I don't know how to hit a window. Let's go. I'm just going to break this wall here, see if we can get this diver to peek me so I can get him. Nope. Oh, this guy's coming though. Here we go. And we're in. And I missed him. It's alright. That's alright. Got another one. I can definitely get two here. Oh, probably a third. He's not shooting at me. Oh, that guy was weak. Oh, I just hit Steve. I know I can't get that guy up there. They're still doing pretty bad on gold. That's that's why you gotta hit Steve, guys. I think the best thing that they have is dual spear pistols with poison. And there goes my partner. It's okay, I think he only had about three, maybe four kills. Yeah, it looks like they gave me a goblin. It's the second worst spot I could ask for, but we'll make it work. We've already got a pretty big lead. Since they're not paying attention, we'll just go back in through the same side. Oh, you guys out here for me. Here's number two. Oh, uh, PAT. Bane of any shark's existence. How much you can do. Just save our points for adrenal gland. It looks like they're spending all their gold on equipment. Uh, see if we can just get anyone to come out here before we go in for the shield. If anyone's in front of Steve at the door, no, I'll just take out this food. Uh, I'm poisoned. It's alright, we'll get this kill. Or I can hit the wall at a crappy angle. And yeah, I deserve that death. Looks like that guy's aim's gotten a little bit better with them spear pistols. We're just now getting the save three. They might have enough for one or two rifles. Again, I think they've spent most of their gold on equipment. Nobody sees me? Yeah, alright, I'll take these kills. One. Come on, two, two, right, party's in the way, alright, come on, two, two, three, yeah. Let's just continue to punish Steve, no point trying to turn around and get that guy. And notice how Relentless Force was keeping uh, my health on par with the damage that I was taking. And also, I don't know why that guy is hiding under Steve when he knows I keep hitting him. And the game's pretty much over now, uh, they definitely don't stand a chance of coming back, they're not spending their money well. What's up, guy? And then number two right here. Bleeding. Uh, he's not gonna chase me. They haven't done it all game. Uh, here's Relentless Force being used to heal instead of having to go get a seal. It's one thing that allows me to stay pretty aggressive. 
uh, noticed the cooldown is so short that I was able to use it to get the kills, get out of the room, and it was back by the time I needed it to heal. Come on. I don't know why I even stayed in there. I knew I was dead. But generally, if I miss, I'm just going to leave the room, try again. But I went for it, paid the price. It's all good. Easy kill one. Turn around, easy kill two. Oh, he actually hit me a lot. There's no way I'm getting this third guy. Y'all is way too weak. I should have just hit Steve there. Keep him in the room just a little bit longer. I think they're going to be in the open by the time I get back now. Yeah, he's already on the move. Uh, lag? No, it's, no oh, definitely. Oh, he was in my mouth! No! Oh, come on, don't DC. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, oh I have him, I have him. Easy. All right, okay. Definitely dead, though. Definitely still dead. Yeah. Um. Hope it's fixed. Just grab Blood Feast real quick. And looks like the lag's gone. All right, I have every talent that I deem necessary, which means I've already gotten, I believe, 22 kills last time I checked. No, they're, these guys never look up. Through the window. It should just be one more. Ne never mind. Teammates got him. And that's game. Now, I know a lot of sharks can get two, three, four, even more kills than that. Especially the hit and run speed sharks uh, between deaths. But I feel like the actual triple, double, and quad where you get them within 10 seconds of each other. That belongs to the hammerhead shark. He's able to get so many kills so quickly. And it just... If you do it right, if you do it early enough, it's going to put a team behind. Because once that team gets a lot of gold, they're going to be able to buy the net guns and the volley jets with tracks. It's going to slow you down, and you're just going to have a hard time. It's better to get them early on.